guys and welcome back. Today is gonna to be an interesting video because my husband is here. You will see his hands. Where's, where's your hand? There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna spray some makeup on my face. We're gonna try this out together. He's mostly here because I don't know how to use machines. <laughs> but anyways, I was given this for Christmas and it is a makeup airbrush system thing and he's gonna help me figure out how to use it and put some makeup on my face. We have options of, whoa, Hold on. Foundation options, some bronzer options. I think there might be a blush, I don't know. But we're gonna look at these and see if we can figure out how to make this thing work. So, yeah. All right, so we have shades. Let's put these in order. We have 020, 020, there's 021. Eraser Airbrush Cosmetics, this is concealer. This is dark, oh, eyeshadow eyeshadow and more eyeshadow. So there's foundation and eyeshadow. All right, so step one is plug it in the wall. Yes. I'm gonna pull back some of this. I don't know, like, do you just stick it directly in there? You just drop it in there and then spray it? So here's what the machine looks like. It has an on button and a stand for this. Um, I have no instructions because I was given this like it's been used before. Um, so it was from a friend. It says, clean stylist after each use. <laughs> so I don't have any, any directions at all. I just have the bottles and I have this. So we're gonna put a couple of drops in there and try and spray it, is that what we do? Well, we're gonna go with the lightest foundation because I am very pale. I'm gonna shake it up. It says um, on here, use six to eight drops more for additional coverage. He is dismantling it to see how it works. Separation is normal, shake well before each use. Use six to eight drops or more for coverage. Oil-free, fragrance-free, non-comedogenic, airbrush foundation. This is gonna go at the beginning of the video because I want to preface this. One, I am not a makeup artist. Two, I don't claim to be a makeup artist. And three, we are doing this for fun and entertainment. This is not an instructional video. We're doing this without the instructions to see if we can figure out how to use this, see how intuitive it is, how user-friendly it is, and then I will go in and actually learn how to do that. Icon Pro Airbrush System. Multi-speed. So, why are you taking it apart? Don't take it apart. That's what you do with things. That's not what I do with things. What I do is I put the drops in and I turn it on and adjust things and see what happens. We have very different ways of doing things. That thing looks dangerous, like on the inside. It's, you could definitely kill someone with this. It's very sharp. It's like a very sharp needle in there and it's crazy. Uh, all right, so this is the inside of the machine that you would never ever need to access, I don't think. No, you do, you got it. This is what you're supposed to take out to clean it. Oh, we take this apart to clean it? Okay, so yeah, this, there you can kind of see. Ugh. There we go. You see how sharp that is? That could hurt. It goes to a very, very fine point. There you go, there's that. In case, is it focused? Can you see? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right, we have five drops in the little thing. Oh, I smell it. Is it, hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. Are you airbrushing it? Like, what does it look like? It looks like you're doing a really good job. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, stop, 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 stop. It's really weird. Like I want to blend it out, like it's not like, can I try it? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> okay. I need more stuff. You used five drops on my cheek? Are you serious? Uh, Come here. <laughs> You're scaring, no, okay. Let me do the forehead. You don't get that close, I don't think. Oh, so oh God, no. Is that better? That looks a little That bit looks better. a little bit better. I think you put way too, like you've got to move it around. Well, yeah, I've never used one of these before, ever. Neither have I, ever. I can see how you, um... Stop! Stop! You, I want to breathe! You might think this is I want to breathe! <laughs> Are you ready? Try to cover up a spot. Like, see like the, a what? 
a spot. See if there's any coverage. Well, you can. You can put it right here and go. <laughs> that spot's no! gone. No! <laughs> you idiot. Okay, give it to me. Give, just give it to me. Let me try. I'm having fun. Turn your face this way. Let's find another spot. Okay, so there's a spot there. We're just going to try and get this whole area. It doesn't seem to cover very well. I just think you don't know what you're doing. Well, I mean, that's also true. You <laughs> have all this fresh air, though. It ran out again. We've gone through 10 drops, and my face looks not much different, right? Um, you can only really tell, um, like here, because there's, there's a lot there's a right blank here. Spot. Yeah, well, you just poured, you just sprayed five well, drops. Well, I did a right bad there. job over there. Look at the other side where I did a really I'm good job. I'm trying to. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of coverage though. Well, let's see, and I even tried to get a lot here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Look at all these wrinkles. Eyeshadow. Okay. Put it in there. Well, let's do the concealer first because my under eyes look atrocious. This is going to be entertaining. Are you ready to conceal me? Yep. Three to four drops. Erase fine lines and wrinkles. Tell me what I'm trying to do with this this time. You, you're going to lightly airbrush my skin How much under my eyes. It? Don't make it go. I mean, like just under your eyes with this? I don't know what it looks like. We'll have to see. Oh, the eyeshadow is going to be fun. Okay, three to four drops. You're just doing the under eye area. Okay. Is it doing anything? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Oh, I hear it. Is it coming out now? It, I just felt it go. Yeah, it just came out all at once. It doesn't look like it's covering anything, though. It looks a little different than the other side. Okay, try some more. You should try the other side, too. Well, why? This one's not even covered. Oh, okay. It feels like it's little sandblast going at me. Oh, it's like just wet. We just shot it all out at once. Look at this. I don't know how to use this. Hey, Joyce's mother did her makeup with this, babe. So I think it's user error. Can I try it? You haven't let me try. My chest hurts now. You invited me. I know. <laughs> Blended with air. That does not look blended at all. It looks terrible. Yes, it does. Oh, don't wipe that on your pants. Don't wipe it on mine. Don't wipe it on mine. Okay, I'm going to put a couple of drops of concealer in. And I'm going to try on my other eye. Nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. It's all coming out. It doesn't seem to like come out evenly. Yeah. It like just like shoots out. It actually feels like little um, sand blast going on my face when I pull that all the way. <laughs> Yeah, this is not easy to use. Beautiful. I thought this was going to work and be easy. Um, I mean, I've never watched anybody do this, so I don't know. We may be doing something. Hold on. This is going to be in the background. I've never watched anybody actually use this, so we could be doing something terribly, terribly wrong. Maybe you should do a two-part video. A two-part video? Yeah. Well, like in one, like a first part and a second part. So one where you try and do it, and then one after you watch someone to do it. Okay, so Daniel thinks I should go watch how to do this and come back and do it right. Um, do you want to do eyeshadow? Yep. Okay, he's going to do eyeshadow on me. Pick your poison. One or the two. Darkest one. He's going to go with the darkest shade. Espresso. 
child got the Chex Mix and climbed up in bed and is eating Chex Mix in our bed. I will wash those sheets before we go to bed. One, two, three drops. I don't know if that was in focus the whole time, but okay. I feel well, I just it. don't know how close I need to get to only get your eyes. I think our problem is we're being too close and that does it needs to yeah, be further. Yeah, but you were like all rolling around like this. At that point I was done. Like it, uh, I couldn't. Right, so. I think if you, the closer you get okay, the worse so it's I gonna look. I can see the circle. Yeah, yeah it's gonna so get. So if I back it to like there. Okay, you ready? Right there. Try that. Close your eye. Don't look at this masterpiece. I can feel it and smell it. Yeah, perfect. right now oh my lanta and it's so liquidy okay, you open yeah. your eyes Don't and open it your creases eyes. you gotta leave them. oh you know what maybe you're supposed to like dry it that's what i did with my hand dry it well i mean it's too late now this is ruined you know i'm actually yeah we'll just get a little we'll fix it i'm actually a little bit more impressed than i thought i would be with your eyeshadow application although it's getting under my eye now well i'm not putting any more i'm just trying to dry it <laughs> Get it all dry. The eyeshadow is doing better than the foundation and concealer, though. I gotta say. Is it still wet? A little bit. Okay. Uh, it's maybe still a little wet, but go ahead and look. It's not horrible. Yeah, I'm really good at this. That's actually not horrible, guys. The rest of my face looks not the greatest. But the eyeshadow? I'm impressed. Okay, turn your face. Okay, do the other one. And maybe it's just because I feel like I have a lot more control over, um, because it's a darker color. You can see what's happening. Yeah. Well, maybe you see, take... look at that one. That one's not... Well, bad. I need a weight, right? Uh, no, because I didn't, like, square yeah. a big... Well, maybe you take what you learned from this and apply that to the face. And no, you can see, do the bronzer. That. It's not bad. I mean, this side's way darker than this, so I look at Yeah, well, even. it's because that's... I would do them both the other way, though. Yeah, but you need to make them even now. So no more? Um, oh, that's fine. You just need to build it up. You want to try the bronzer? It looks like I hit you. <laughs> <coughs> looks like I hit you. Okay. It's, it's honestly a lot better... Based on how the face went, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to go. You should bronze me now. Squirt, like, just one quick burp. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it up. Let's see what the higher burp. Okay. Yeah, so maybe doing it all on those. Well, so. and, yeah, and maybe further away. Well, yeah, see oh, see how, like, stop. precise no, you can be focused. with it, though? It's not oh, there we go. It so thinks you, those are eyes. <laughs> so you can actually do pretty controlled with it but this is just so little makeup it would take a, yeah do it like that but all over the face with foundation well and then the bronzer you're going to want really really light and diffused so because the bronzer is just going to go like right here we're, we're getting there guys we're fig we're figuring it out so do you know where bronzer goes uh on your cheekbone no 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 you're not going to go on the cheekbones. This goes like in the hollow of the cheek right here and then a little bit on the hairline. So just like... Right there, right? No! That's too low! <laughs> right here. <laughs> this is already so bad. Baby, this is, this is not the right placement at all! Oh! It's so red! Okay, nope. Why did you do that? Oh, it's so shimmery. Yeah. I just put it in the middle of my face. Oh, baby. Here, go up. One. Yeah, but it's like how yeah. wide of a thing. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block off this part. You just nice and light, very light. This is light. Okay. That's a little better. I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but that's definitely better. That's. So I think Close. you could do this, but why would you do this? Well, it's supposed to make it look airbrushed and flawless and skin-like and... Uh-huh. 
As opposed to... As opposed to heavy and makeup y It's supposed to be... It's supposed to look better. And it's supposed to stay all day. Like, it's supposed to be really budge-proof makeup. The eyeshadow looks atrocious right now because it's, like, all creased and stuff. I don't know. If... And then you put bronzer right here. It's very... I look beautiful, guys! Bronzed! It's very shimmery. That would be prettier on the eyes, I think. Okay, so what are our thoughts on this right now? Do gold eyes when you do it. This bronze color on the eyes, that would be really pretty on the eyes. I think there's definitely a way of making this work. So this is the the button and you have gotta know like the right amount of, if you go all the way back, it just goes psh, and you get a wet spot. But if you don't pull it enough, there's not enough. Like it's a really fine balance. And then there's the distance away from your face as well. So it's not like a, it looks like you could do a good face of makeup with this. This foundation shade is not right. So this is what it looks like right now. It's beautiful, right? I think if the shade was the right shade, I mean, even this bronzer over here, blending it in with the foundation, it looks a lot better over here, right? No, he's saying no, it doesn't look better. It looks a lot better. But it does actually look fairly natural in the face. It doesn't feel, it feels a little bit like sticky, like, I don't know, but it's not, like, I feel like it's gonna stay. It's makeup that will stay. So I may take this off and do it again and try to actually uh, make this look right. Okay, so I have watched the official video of how to use this and um, I've kicked the husband out. So we're gonna try this again and I'm going to try this start to finish. We're gonna start with the foundation. And so I learned a couple of things. There's actually marks on here to, to show you how far to pull back this. And if you pull it to the second mark, that's like full power and that's how you clean it. Uh, not how you put makeup on. So, um, <laughs> we're going to put the foundation in here. Oh, I just dropped one on the floor. That's nice. And we're going to go in light layers. We're going, she said to keep it four finger widths apart away from the face. So pretty far away from the face and slowly build this up. So, um, since this machine is loud, I'm going to, um, just put music over this, but we're going to try this now and see if I can get the foundation to look good. And, um, knowing that this is too dark for me, but we're gonna, we're gonna try this. I think in the right shade, this would look pretty good. It does look pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to try the concealer now. Ooh, I got too much. Okay, I just quirted it all out. Shoot. I basically just squirted all that concealer out right here. So I'm going to try to tap this out. So there is that. I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow now. Bronzer shade. And I'm going to see if I can do a light wash of this on my eyelid. This is a little bit heavy around the eyes. It's feeling a little bit much, but that was my fault. I pushed the button too hard. do my eyebrows and just throw on some mascara and then we're gonna see what what this ends up looking like all right so let me share my thoughts with you I think this is really cool and it's awesome that um, it's accessible I actually don't even know how much this thing cost let's let's look at that before I say it's accessible Hi, for 30 days for 30 dollars 
plus three monthly payments of 50 bucks. $480, not, not really sure this is something I would recommend for just every day. Um, there's a couple of reasons. <laughs> oh gosh, looks so weird. Um, one, there is a pretty steep learning curve. I think I would have to, to feel confident in doing my makeup and going out in this, I would have to, to use this for a while. So unless you just know how to use one or you're just talented and uh, I'm not, um, I don't have anything on my lips. I don't know that I would recommend this for like everyday use because you also have to clean this out every time you use it in order for it to remain working. So it's not really any faster. They'll say, I think this makeup would not go anywhere, which is awesome. So I could see using this for like a special occasion, but again, if you're only using it once every few months or a couple times a year, you have to learn how to use it. Like you could just go get your makeup done, especially for the price. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool and it's kind of cool to have and I want to keep trying it and seeing if I can get better at it. And it might be easier for me to use on other people <laughs> than on myself, but also um, I think this is the lightest shade and it's kind of dark and orange on me. So I mean like there's my neck, there's my face. It's a little dark, but I mean after using it, I didn't really use it the first time my husband did, but this is basically my first time using it and the eyeshadow actually looks really good. I like the bronzer glow shade that's beautiful and i even got it it's a little splotchy on my cheeks but i did get the bronzer on my cheeks um, and i think with some practice that could look good this right here is driving me crazy let's just not look at the hairline it's not it's not awful like it's kind of cool i would love to know if this is something i can't i can't take myself seriously i would love to know if this is something that you've thought about or interested in um it was fun to play with and yeah um it i I liked in including my husband in a video because he's just hilarious and he says the weirdest things. If you did enjoy this video though, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Luminous? Luminous? L luminous air. Luminous air. You don't ever run water through it. Oh, why? That's bad. Why is that bad? It'll rust. Oh. And how do you clean it? You don't use you, water? You don't. You don't clean this. It's not for you. The makeup item is not for me. It's for him. I'm done. I was talking with this and I just dumped it all out on my hand. Thank goodness that's all that happened. I, why was I talking and waving this around? I'm an idiot. Don't talk while holding the brush. Mental note.